Greetings, this is Iggy from the Investing Iguana, and we're on the brink of yet another exciting earnings season. This week marks the commencement of the final quarterly earnings reporting season for 2023, a pivotal time for investors worldwide, and particularly here in Singapore. Our focus will be on the real estate investment trusts, REITs, a sector that has recently been under the microscope due to various economic pressures. The combination of escalating inflation and soaring interest rates has led to a decrease in REITs distributions, a trend that has investors on high alert. Moreover, some REITs are grappling with the impact of fluctuating regional exchange rates, especially with the recent strengthening of the Singapore dollar. This currency dynamic adds another layer of complexity to the financial performance of these trusts. As we navigate this challenging economic terrain, there are four REITs that we believe warrant close attention. These trusts could provide insightful case studies on resilience and strategic adaptation in the face of economic headwinds. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into their performance in our upcoming discussions. Firstly, we're taking a closer look at Keppel DC REIT, SGX, AJBU, a data center REIT that has been making waves in the market. With a portfolio of 23 data centers spread across nine countries, Keppel DC REIT has assets under management, AUM, amounting to 3.7 billion Singapore dollars as of June 30th, 2023. This REIT has been one of the standout performers this year, with its unit price experiencing a significant increase of 16.2% year-to-date, YDD. The first half of 2023, 1H2023, saw the REIT report a resilient set of earnings. Gross revenue rose by 3.6% year-on-year to 140.5 million Singapore dollars, while net property income, NPI, saw a 3.3% increase year-on-year to 127.4 million Singapore dollars. Despite the challenging economic landscape, the distribution per unit, DPU, remained steady at 0.05051 Singapore dollars. Investors are keenly watching to see if Keppel DC REIT can maintain its robust performance as distributable income faces pressure from rising interest rates. The acquisitions of two data centers in Guangdong, China, last year provided a boost to the REIT's performance. Additionally, renewals and income escalations have contributed to improved revenue. The portfolio occupancy remains high at 98.5%, with a long portfolio weighted average lease expiry, whale, of eight years. The demand for data centers continues to be strong, driven by hyperscale expansion and the increasing use cases for generative artificial intelligence. With an aggregate leverage standing at just 36.3%, Keppel DC REIT has room to rely on debt financing for accretive acquisitions. The management team remains committed to pursuing more data center acquisition opportunities in a disciplined manner, aiming to enhance its asset base and DPU. Stay tuned as we continue to monitor the performance of this intriguing REIT in our upcoming discussions. Next, we're turning our attention to Keppel Pacific Oak U.S. REIT, SGX, CMOU, or CORE. This REIT invests in commercial real estate assets in the U.S., boasting a portfolio of 13 freehold office buildings and business campuses across eight markets. As of December 31, 2022, Corey's assets under management, AUM, stood at a substantial $1.4 billion U.S. dollars. The first half of 2023, 1H2023, brought mixed results for Corey. Gross revenue saw a modest increase of 2.4% year-on-year to $75.9 million U.S. dollars, while net property income, NPI, improved by 2% year-on-year to $43.9 million U.S. dollars. However, the distribution per unit, DPU, experienced a decline of 17.2% year-on-year to $0.025 U.S. dollars, primarily due to higher financing costs and divestments made in the second half of 2022. Investors are keen to understand the current state of the U.S. commercial market, especially given recent developments with Peer Manulife U.S. REIT, SGX, BTOU, which recently breached one of its debt covenants due to falling property valuations. Corey has reassured investors that its portfolio valuation would need to fall by a significant 24% for the REIT to hit the 50% leverage limit. As of June 30, 2023, 
Corey's portfolio enjoyed a committed occupancy rate of 90.8%, and it has leases with a built-in average annual rental escalation of 2.5% across the portfolio. For the third REIT, we're focusing on Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, SGX, N2IU, or Impact. This REIT boasts a portfolio of 18 commercial properties spread across Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Japan, and South Korea. As of March 31, 2023, these properties were valued at a substantial 16.6 billion Singapore dollars. In its latest quarter ending June 30, 2023, 1QFI 2024, Impact reported impressive results with gross revenue surging by a whopping 75.6% year-on-year to 237.1 million Singapore dollars. Net Property Income, NPI, also saw a significant leap of 68% year-on-year to 179.2 million Singapore dollars. However, the distribution per unit, DPU, experienced a decline of 12.8% year-on-year to 0.0218 Singapore dollars. This drop can be attributed to a combination of higher finance costs, increased utility costs, and weaker regional exchange rates. Investors are keen to see if Impact's Chinese properties can record an uptick in performance as the China and Hong Kong properties both recorded negative rental reversions for 1QFI 2024. In other developments, Impact's key retail asset, Vivo City, completed its Asset Enhancement Initiative, AEI, in May. The upcoming results will reflect a full quarter's contribution from the nearly 80,000 square feet of space reconfiguration. Stay tuned as we continue to monitor Impact's performance and delve deeper into the dynamics of the Pan-Asian commercial real estate market in our upcoming discussions. Lastly, we're focusing on Capital and Integrated Commercial Trust, SGX, C38U, or CICT. This REIT is a retail and commercial entity with a portfolio of 21 properties in Singapore, 2 in Germany, and 3 in Australia. As of December 31, 2022, its assets under management, AUM, stood at a substantial 24.2 billion Singapore dollars. CICT reported an impressive set of results for the first half of 2023, 1H2023, with its distribution per unit, DPU, rising by 1.5% year-on-year to 0.053 Singapore dollars. Investors are keen to see how the REIT's retail portfolio will perform, as the REIT had projected for rent and occupancy to continue its positive trajectory for 2023. For 1H 2023, six retail portfolios saw a positive rental reversion of 6.9%, with shopper traffic and tenant sales up by 17.5% and 6% year-on-year, respectively. The REIT's office performance will also be under scrutiny as it maintained a high overall office occupancy rate of 95.4% as of June 30, 2023. With a gearing of 40.4% and an average cost of debt of 3.2%, investors will be closely watching the REIT's finance costs to see if they may eat into distributable income. Finally, we can look forward to updates on six existing Asset Enhancement Initiative, AEI, at CQ at Clark Quay, along with plans for any upcoming AEIs or acquisitions. As we wrap up our discussion on the final earnings season for 2023, it's clear that the four REITs we've highlighted, Keppel DC REIT, Keppel Pacific Oak US REIT, Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, and Capital and Integrated Commercial Trust are navigating a complex economic landscape. Each has shown resilience in the face of challenges such as high inflation, surging interest rates, and fluctuating exchange rates. Investors will be watching closely to see how these REITs continue to perform in this environment. The ability to adapt and innovate will be key to their success. Whether it's through strategic acquisitions, asset enhancement initiatives, or effective management of finance costs, these REITs have demonstrated that they are not just surviving, but potentially thriving amidst these challenges. As always, it's important for investors to stay informed and keep a close eye on market trends. The performance of these REITs offers valuable insights into the broader economic climate and potential investment opportunities. As we move forward, we'll continue to monitor these and other REITs closely, providing you with the latest updates and analysis. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the final earnings season for 2023. Stay tuned for more insights from the Investing Iguana.